For most of us, recording audio at home is taking place in a spare bedroom, an office, somewhere that was not optimized for audio recording. So a little treatment to that room is going to help, but you're also going to potentially have to deal with a louder noise floor than would be in a studio created for audio production. So how do I deal with that? For the last couple years, I've been using Isotope's RX-7. Even the Elements comes with the vocal denoise. It's fantastic. I did a video. You can see how I'm using that. And it goes on sale sometimes, and it's an excellent pickup. Over the last year, at least, I've been using a new plugin by a company called Accusonus. And full disclosure, they gave me a license to try this out, but I didn't talk about it for a whole year because I wanted to use it in all the productions that I do to give it a real test. And I have not used anything else since. Um, almost every time it's gonna be the one that I use. And the key to it is that it is the most transparent noise removal that I've heard. So for those noise floors that have something like some HVAC or background noise from outside, some type of a little bit of hiss in the audio, could even be a preamp, I'm gonna use this because it affects my voice least. It gets the noise without changing the vocal quality of the audio. So it's super simple. That's the other reason. It is a single knob plug-in. So you just turn the dial to the amount that you need. And this plug-in, I've been able to turn it up really high and get those great results. So getting out a lot of noise without having to, again, affect the quality of my voice. So that's really the core of the video. I want to show you how I'm using it. It's very simple. I don't have to do much of a how-to here, even though I'll show you a few of the very few options that it has. You don't need it. It just works by itself. So let's take a look and listen to some samples, and I'll show you what I've been using for noise removal in my audio productions for at least the last year. Okay, I'm sitting in my normal recording position. The air conditioner is on. This is what that sounds like. And I've loudness normalized this audio to minus 20 dB. So you can see what the noise floor will be like when we bring this up to a level that we're going to use for the final export. And you can see there in the waveform how prominent the background noise actually is. And I wouldn't record this way, but we'll use this as an example of removing heavier background noise. So let's apply the Accusonus noise remover plugin, and we have a very few options. So we'll start here with the all frequency focus. So this is going to affect the entire frequency band as we go up on the noise removal knob here. And I've pushed all the way to 50% and I don't notice much difference in my voice, but I do notice that the background noise is pretty much gone. So that is really awesome, especially since this is more noise than I would typically record with. So my normal ambient noise floor would be very easy to clean up. And this is before, and this is after. Ideally, we'd want to focus on even less of the frequency range so that the plugin affects even less of our voice. So we have a couple different options here. We have high frequency focus. And what you should do is either select your noise floor and just listen to that part and listen to the differences. So if we select a noise floor here, we'll toggle through these and listen to the differences. So here's the high frequency focus. Here's the low frequency focus. Here's the high and low frequencies only. And then finally, the mid frequency focus. So pick the one that sounds the most transparent for your recording, and then just apply that, and you have a nice, easy way to remove noise from your audio. One thing we can also do is begin by using a high pass filter 
at at least 80 hertz because the vocal doesn't have anything we want to hear below that, but some of this HVAC sound might be in there. So we can help the noise removal plugin a little bit by doing that. In this case, it's not doing much, but we still want to use it. There's a few things we can do to rehab this. We can do a little EQing to bring back whatever the plugin might have gotten rid of in terms of the frequency response of my voice. And this is the noise floor. And we can even add in some expansion so that the quiet parts are pushed down even further. And now you can hear our final audio is pretty clean, hasn't really been degraded. My voice doesn't sound like it's underwater. It might be a little muddier than when we started, but this won't be something that anyone's gonna notice in the final audio because the whole thing will sound the same. And in our case, it sounds good. All right, so that's the noise removal plugin from Accusonus that I've been using. I really love it. It's the one I'd recommend, but if you get into Isotopes plugin as well, it is almost just as good. Um, and I still love it. I still use it in certain cases if Accusonus can't do what I need. So for me, most of the time, this plugin will work, the Accusonus, but one plugin doesn't always do all the jobs. So in some cases, another noise removal might be better. But I have found over the last year, this is really doing the job that I need it to do, which is cleaning up my audio transparently so it's not affecting my voice. And you saw there as if it does affect the voice a little bit, you can then do a little EQ to bring back, usually what happens, it gets a little muddy, you bring back that sparkle or high end and it sounds fantastic. No one's ever gonna really know you applied noise removal and that is the key to noise removal, is it not being noticeable. So hopefully this works for you. Check the link in the description. Everything I use to create this video is there and ask your questions in the comments. I'll see you next time.